Hey guys, what's with your screw today? Today, I'll be going over the January PG Sharp video. Now, if you may know, on this channel, we do a monthly video regarding the updates as well as the features of PG Sharp. And uh, as of right now, the v version of PG Sharp I'm reviewing, I think is 1.10.1. I'm not too sure. I will change it in the link in the description below if that is not the case. But in this video, we'll be going over how to install PG Sharp, where you can find it, the terms and conditions of using it, um, and as well as what kind of requirements you have, as well as, of course, the features that it has. Before we start the video, however, this video is sponsored by PokemonGoForSale.com. The URL is PokemonGoForSale.com, and you can get 25% off their products by using the discount code you're screwed. They've been selling Pokemon Go accounts since 2017 and have sold over 5,000 accounts in that time period. So if you need a reliable seller for high-end or low-end accounts, this is the place to check it out. Link in the description below. So first of all, we'll be going over where you can get it. Now you can get this, this application at pgsharp.com. Um, still not sponsored, unfortunately. Um, uh, maybe soon. But you can get it at pgsharp.com and uh, there's two versions. So there's one version which is free. And this version comes with everything except auto walking and a feed, essentially. Um, and then the premium costs $5 a month. You can cancel any time. Uh, I think you pay with PayPal or debit, uh, however is fine. So yeah, any payment method you choose should be should be good. And you can cancel at any time, obviously, um, as as most like things can. So uh, yeah, you do not need to have your phone uh, rooted for this. Uh, unfortunately, this is only for Android devices uh, at this moment in time because Apple's a bit stingier with uh, modded applications, but this application is only for Android. You do not need to be rooted and uh, you don't need to downgrade any like Google Play services or whatever, um, just like how you have to for uh, FGL Pro. You don't have to do any of that downgrade shit because uh, PG Sharp kind of just overruns everything. It essentially is a, uh, it, it is just Pokemon Go, but with like an extra add-on. So yeah, very, very cool stuff. Um, very good uh, team behind it. Anyway, let's get on to the features. Now the features for the, this is the premium version of PG Sharp, by the way. If you want a review of the free version, you can go to, there's another, uh, there's another video on my channel showcasing what exactly it looks like and how you can make the best of that application. So we're gonna be going over the features very quickly. So as you can see, there's a map feature here. If I go to map, um, this is the place where you can actually look at the route that you're walking for auto walk. You get to uh, type in coordinates and places that you want to go. So you can put in a coordinate, you can copy paste it directly, or you can type in something like Pier 39 and then simply search it and it will search Pier 39 for you. Another thing that's very cool here is you can actually insert GPX files as well as uh, favorite GPX files. And you can import GPX files into the application um, by going into the settings uh, in the bottom of this tab. I won't be doing that obviously because then it'll show like my account details and everything. But there is an option to import GPX files. Uh, so what you can do is you can download the GPX file onto your phone or computer, transfer it across, and then import it into PG Sharp and you will be able to walk that route while catching Pokemon as well as spinning the Pokestops that you want. Um, obviously GPX files aren't as useful nowadays because um, the XP from catching Pokemon is significantly higher than actually uh, spinning Pokestops, but it's still cool if you still need items or if you're doing like community day or something. So second thing on this is the speed. Now speed is, well, it's relatively important, but essentially you get to change your speed to 9.3, 18.6, 30, 60, and zero. So 9.3 9 is the default for me because at 9.3 kilometers per hour, uh, this is the best way to hatch eggs as well as uh, give your buddy some like candy uh, progress. Uh, anything higher than 9.3 kilometers becomes a little bit inconsistent. So I sometimes I go to like 10 or 11, but it's not 100% accurate. Sometimes you get more, sometimes you get less. And I kind of just don't want to, I kind of just want to avoid that. And 9.3 isn't that much slower anyway. So it, it's, it, I just keep it at 9.3. Of course, when you're moving around with the joystick, uh, it's preferable to walk around at 60 kilometers per hour because 9.3 kilometers per hour is very slow. So it's nice that you have the option to move six times that rate. Um, so if you're trying to walk to a, Pokest a particular Pokestop or you're trying to walk to a gym, definitely put it onto 60 kilometers per hour so you don't kill yourself in the process. All right, moving on. Uh, the third one on here is auto walk. Now auto walk is definitely my, my favorite uh, feature of PG Sharp. 
Um, but however, it does not come with the free version, unfortunately. Um, but of course, it's only five bucks. You know, five bucks a month. Nothing crazy. If you're playing Pokemon Go anyway, like it's just part of the just treat it as part of the expenses. Um, Auto Walk allows you to essentially it essentially what the application does is it searches for points of interest on the map and then recognizes them and uh, makes a total tally. So if I turn off Auto Walk for a second. I will repress it, and then it will give me the total tally of uh, point of interest numbers in the area, which is 383. Uh, and if I put in 383, it will essentially walk towards 383 different Pokestops. So if you're trying to spin uh, a huge number, uh, a huge number of Pokestops in a very little, in very little time, um, this is the way to do it. Of course, if you want to just spin Pokestops for items, you don't want to catch any Pokemon. And you're not worried about soft bend, then you can just put your speed up to like 18.6, and then you can still spin the poke stops. Uh, 9.3 is the speed that you want to go at if you want to hatch eggs and everything. So moving on, we have the feeds feature. Feeds feature is by far is is not by far obviously. Auto walk is my favorite feature, but uh, feeds is very very useful, um, and that it's it uh, provides you with 24/7 uh, Pokemon Go coordinates. Um, actually, I'll be making a video uh, later on in the week uh, about how to find like uh, Pokemon Go feeds without having PG Sharp Premium because lots of people have been asking me in the comments, yo, how do I find a, um, how do I find a place to find like, okay, I didn't mean to click that balloon. How do I find a uh, Pokemon uh, that like I want to catch, um, I, but I need, I don't have cords for them because I can't use the feeds feature, right? Obviously the free version of PG Sharp doesn't have the feeds feature. Um, so yeah, if you, if you want the feeds, you have to buy the uh, premium. Well, actually, no, it does. That's a lie. It does, but it's very limited. It's, a, it's only limited to like 100 IV uh, Pokemon, which I mean is good if you're Shundo hunting, but if you're looking for a specific Pokemon to fill out the Pokedex or something, kind of annoying. Um, I'm going to go over the feeds feature real quick. So very simple. You want to create a new feed, press the plus icon on the top right corner. You can set the level from 1 to 35. If you want it to 35 to 35, that means the only Pokemon that will spawn are level 35. Same with IV, uh, 0 to 100, or you can set it to 100 to 100 if you want only 100 IV Pokemon. There's a distance setting. Um, this is for this is so that you don't get soft, so you can choose the amount of time that you want to be soft banned for, which is nice, you know, you don't want to be permanently soft banned. Um, you can set priority, so uh, priority pri it prioritizes Pokemon on the list based off time or distance. Uh, and then, of course, you can choose your Pokemon. So if you click this, you get to pick one of the six generations worth of Pokemon to actually catch. You name your Pokemon, name your filter something, and uh, it should be ready to go. So, going back, um, next feature is favorites. Now, favorites is pretty useful. Um, it allows you to save uh, places that you like. So for me, it's it's Zaragoza up here, thirty nine. My special hype spot, Seoul and New York. These are the five spots that I go to almost, oh, almost only because I never really go anywhere else. Um, I don't like do gyms or anything, so I never really have a reason to play outside of these areas. Um, unless I'm like sniping. So this, these are the five places that I have favorited so that I can just go to at any point in time. Obviously there's a hot, sp hot places, uh, tab here as well. So there's a bunch of other places that if you, if you, if you're bored, you want to check out, definitely try out, you know, like I'm, these places are all like heavily pokey stopped and, uh, should have tons of stuff to catch in them. So go check them out. The next one here is teleport. Now this one's just a very, it's a very, uh, UI friendly Control C, Control V, copy paste, uh, coordinate place or yeah, coordinate area I guess. Um, so if you if you're too lazy to go to map, you can just do it here. Very very simple. And the last one obviously is settings. Now in the settings, there's a lot of different things that I enjoy about it. There's obviously the guaranteed excellent and curve ball throw. If you're not very good at curving the ball, or if you uh, can't get that excellent throw every time, you can just turn it on. Boom! There you go. You can crutch on the excellent throw every time. Like you can just. I can just throw this reg this regular Pokemon or Pokeball, and it'll be excellent and a curve throw every time, which significantly increases your catching odds. So I would use this in stuff like gyms and stuff. Um, if you need, if you can't catch a specific Pokemon, then uh, just put it, turn it on when you're in a gym after you're trying to catch that Pokemon in the end, and uh, yeah, you'll, you'll be catching it in no time with that Golden Res. Another feature that's really cool is, of course, the Catch Preview and Quick Catch. As you can see here, I'm not actually doing anything special to my game. It's simply doing it for me. 15% battery. Don't worry about it. We'll get the video done before then. Um, and essentially what it does is it allows you to, uh, you don't have to do the catch animation at all. Uh, and it gives you a catch preview. You can turn off one or the other, depending on whether you want to actually see the catch screen or not. 
Um, if Obviously, if you want to see the catch screen, turn off quick catch, um, and then you can just have the catch preview so that you know whether you caught the Pokemon or not, which is nice. See, it says caught. Very cool. So now it's in, now I know that's in, in my inventory. And I, have to, I don't have to worry about it. Anyway, guys, that, I think that's the whole video there. Really, it's just me grinding to level 42 so far. I'm like halfway there, which is super cool. Next video, of course, later on in the week, probably Friday or Saturday, will be about um, will be about trying to find a feed regard uh, like without a uh, without an actual premium uh, PG Sharp account. And of course, I'll be coming up with an, uh, a number of ways to actually do it, so that whether you're on Android, whether you're on Apple, whether you're on your computer, uh, you'll be able to find feeds so that you can play Pokemon Go spoofing to its finest. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, that's the entire video, guys. Uh, stay safe, you know, wash your hands, everything. Hope 2021's a bit of a better year than last year, because last year was pretty shite, if you ask me. And uh, yeah, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.